In our previous video, I told you that vitamin C and zinc can boost your immune system and raise your defenses against upper respiratory diseases like the common cold. But what exactly does vitamin C and zinc do for your body? Both vitamin C and zinc can improve the first line of defense, skin and mucosal barriers. Vitamin C is a necessary ingredient for the synthesis of collagen and can increase the strength of skin. Zinc is necessary for cellular proliferation and can increase the thickness of skin. But it's in the phagocytes of innate immunity where vitamin C is a really big help. Vitamin C protects phagocytes, like neutrophils, against reactive, oxygen, species-induced damage, improves motility and chemotaxis, enhances cytotoxicity, and overall improves phagocytosis. On the other hand, a lack of zinc actually impairs phagocytosis. But by and large, zinc is more important in boosting your adaptive immunity. Zinc aids in the proliferation of stem cells. It boosts B and T cell differentiation and interaction. It improves the balance of T helper cells. It also increases the antibody production of activated B cells and helps in the destruction of infected tissue cells and tumors. The boost that vitamin C and zinc give to the immune system is demonstrated in how these two protect the body from the common cold. According to the Journal of International Medical Research, vitamin C and zinc enhance and balance immune system response. In particular, zinc impairs a virus's ability to attach and replicate in cells. In a study published in the Cochrane Collaboration, it was found that regular supplementation of vitamin C was associated with a reduction of the duration of colds. In adults, the duration of cold was reduced by up to 8%, while for children it was shortened by up to 18%. The effect of zinc on the common cold has also been recognized by many studies. Like vitamin C, it is associated with a significant reduction in the duration and severity of common cold symptoms. It was related to the reduction of symptoms among subjects within seven days. Zinc intake also results in a smaller likelihood of developing the cold at all lowering school absences because of the cold and the prescription of antibiotics. Zinc supplementation has also been found to reduce the incidence and prevalence of pneumonia. In fact, zinc has been recognized by UNICEF for its role in preventing and treating diseases like pneumonia and diarrhea. Regular supplementation of zinc has also been found to decrease incidence of infections in the elderly. Studies have also found that the rate of relief from rhinorrhea was significantly higher in the study's active treatment group than in the placebo group over a five-day assessment period. This shows that the combination of vitamin C and zinc can raise your defenses against upper respiratory diseases. But it isn't easy to combine an unstable nutrient like vitamin C with a mineral like zinc. Watch our next video to see how we were able to do it.